Hey everyone, I'm working on this BT Cruiser today. It has a knock in the back. If you develop a knock and you don't know where it's coming from, you've checked the shocks, still knocking, going over bumps and different things, you might want to check what's called a watts link. Now it's connected in the center. It's also called a bell crank. So it basically has some uh, link arms and some tie rods connected to it to help keep the center uh, straight going up and down. So it's located right here. A lot of times the joint wears out and it'll knock. And I'll show you in just a second. Now you can see this one right here. Now it's moving quite a bit. So every time whenever you hit a bump, it's a solid knock. So the joints wore out and we're gonna go ahead and replace that. We're gonna start by putting a little bit of lube on this nut right there. And then I'm going to be using a 24 millimeter socket. Now this bolt goes all the way through it, all the way to the opposite side. So I'm gonna use a crescent on the opposite side while I use the impact to take this one off. Okay, so once you get that nut off, then this pretty much will slide right out. And you can see the bolt right here. Now the watch link is completely loose. Now that I've got the center bolt out, I'm gonna go ahead and release the bolts up top right here. They're 18 millimeter on each arm on each side. They're not really too hard to get to. Now the reason why I removed the whole assembly is because it's just easier to work with. You can try to get these tie rod joints off on the vehicle, but if that joint's uh, tight and they've been on here for a while, then you're gonna bang on it and bang on it and end up in either bending the tie rod or just taking so much time that it was just quicker just to take the two bolts off the end take it over the bench to, to get it off so just take your 18 millimeter come over here and remove this bolt now you might have to reach up right behind where the gas filler neck is to hold the backing nut on it but once it comes loose this bolt will come sliding right out and I'll show you right here, it has this backing nut right there. Once you take that out, the arm completely loose. Now go ahead and go to the other side. Now on the driver's side, it's actually easier to get you a little U-joint with an extension and a ratchet in order to get that bolt out. So on the driver's side, once you get that bolt loose, It'll come out just as easy. And then you can remove the arm from this side. Now you can see already whenever I loosened up the bolt right here that the top joint became loose on there. The bottom joint is still tight with the nut off. And it's actually the one that's up against the rear end so it's really hard to get to. And I did try to bang this a little bit but I don't like to bang on it too hard to, to bend or mess up the joint. So that's the reason why I went ahead and took it off so that I could get a good, nice, solid hit on it um, in order to release it from the joint. Now, as usual, you always want to take the new joint and compare it with the old one, make sure everything looks like it's going to match up correctly. Now, if you get the joint loose and you need to just take off the nut, it'll probably start spinning on you, so you'll need to take, which I'm using a 5 millimeter um, hex wrench in order to Hang on to the center right there. And then I get the nut and this protective cover off. And then go ahead and swap it to the new joint. I'm gonna make sure that you orientate it correctly. Go and slide it, swap it just like that. Put it back on there. Go ahead and tighten up the joint. Normally these have plastic covers over this and you just have to pull the plastic cover off. Once you get it pretty snug and you're comfortable with how tight it is, now you can go work on getting the other side swapped. So now that I have my nut back off, 
and I have it mounted in the vise, I'm gonna go ahead and tap it. I'm gonna use a air hammer just to see, since the nut's backed off, I'm gonna see if it'll, if it'll break loose just by tapping it. And you can see how that just broke loose. So now go ahead and take your five millimeter wrench again and your ratchet and go ahead and remove the retaining nut. Once you get the nut off, then you can slide the arm on off there. So now just bring your arm back over. You can see the sides, uh, the hole over here is bigger in case you didn't keep the orientation correct. You can see this is a tapered end, so it only goes in there one way, which is just like that. And then you put the nut back on there. Go ahead and tighten it up. So once you get it tight, it's pretty much ready to go back on. And like I said, it's just, it's really easy to do this on the bench or off the vehicle. This one right here is wedged between the uh, the rear and the arm, so it gets really tough to, to get it off sometimes. This one just happened to pop off. Sometimes you get lucky and you do that. But if you're not lucky and it doesn't just pop off, just take the outer, outer bolts off and do it on the bench. So now it's pretty much just reverse process. Just set your arm back there into the position and this uh, the driver's side uh, retaining that was welded onto the frame so you just got to put your bolt back in it slide it in get it started now before you crank down on it and tighten it up go ahead and get the other side in so just remember that the side had the removable backing nut on it so you'll get it and slide it in from behind And then the same thing before you crank down on it totally, then go ahead and get your center link mounted. Just take your original retaining bolt, slide it through the center, right back to the, the hole. Make sure you put your washer back on it, and then you're retaining that. Get that center tightened up go ahead and tighten up your outer links so I ended up picking up this piece from the local salvage yard it's the piece that's supposed to go right here basically just snap it over So you just got done replacing the watch link and now it's totally, totally stiff right here. Eliminated the knocking on the rear. But hopefully it helps someone out today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button for me. Like it, share it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Stay tuned for more videos and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching everyone.